In the beginning, there were just eight or nine of us on the Delphi team, something like that. It was a really small company. We were way up there in the attic. We were that old cliche, a group of buddies making their game in their basement. Paul de Senville, who was the president of Delphine Software, came up to me saying, Listen, Paul, you have to work on this game because we've been given the chance to do the adaptation of a movie, The Godfather. I decided to transpose the story of Michael Corleone into the future, where he would be chased by mafiosi. We had a video player, an old television, and we went out and started filming in the hallways or outside. Some of us felt ridiculous, but we took those shots and we made animated sequences out of them for the Amiga, because we were working on the Amiga back then. In the end, when we showed our mock-up to the directors, there were all these blank faces, this silence, because it was completely different than The Godfather. They immediately understood that it wouldn't match. But they told me, your thing here is fantastic. I think we can do something with it. And that's how Flashback was born. Doing a remake 20 years later is an idea that has to ripen. Finally, after 20 years, we said that there might be something we could do, because everything has evolved so much. So much has changed that we can offer something new and interesting. Flashback was the child of all those super 90s uh, sci-fi films. We really wanted to make sure that that imprint of the 90s is in there. So every time you see a replicant, there's a chance he'll say something that somebody in Blade Runner might have said, or, he, or a Total Recall, typical, or a cease and desist from Robocop. You know. You'll have an a, a eventual wink and a nod to some of those great classics that Flashback, for me, is part of. We've got something a lot more fluid, a whole lot more reactive than before. Seeing as how we went to 3D, we really did a lot of work on the living elements in the decor. It's all animated, the fumes, the fog, the textures. I took certain moments from the old flashback and reincorporated them into the level design. The goal was to remain true, but especially not to break what had been interesting in the original game. We changed a whole lot of stuff in the gameplay. The combat system was relatively limited back then. Even if it still worked really well, I think that it needed to be dusted off. The difficulty was to preserve, to not betray the essence of the original game while bringing in all the modern comforts for the players, but without it negatively affecting either the difficulty or the challenge. What we tried to do was to keep the heart and soul of the game, and I think we succeeded in that.